Today's show brought to you by HP. I wanted to talk to you today about the explosive e-reader market and specifically Barnes and Noble's um, Kindle killer, if you will, the Nook. The Nook, 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 Nook. I mean, if you haven't heard that name, Nook, then you probably are, are living under a rock. Uh, the Nook is, is hot. The Nook is in demand. The Nook is getting a lot of buzz. Uh, and I wondered whether in fact the Nook and the marketing of the Nook is quite possibly the best or the worst promotional and distribution strategy ever undertaken by a retailer. Let me explain. Well, first of all, if you went into a Barnes & Noble store during the month of December, you would have been disappointed. You would not have been able to buy a single Nook because there wasn't a single Nook available. No stock whatsoever. I even tried to bribe a manager at the local Barnes & Noble. Wasn't interested. In fact, got visibly angry with me when I tried to slip a couple of 20s in his hand. Nothing. And it got me to thinking, why on earth would a successful retailer and e-tailer in the form of Barnes & Noble not create enough product for the holiday rush? For the whole December, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah rush. Was that genius or was that just sheer stupidity? Did they completely underestimate demand or did they completely uh, overestimate the fact that people would actually buy one of their products compared to the Kindle? Did they have so little faith in their own product that they didn't actually invest in an initial run that would sustain demand through the holiday season? I don't know the answer. I don't know if they artificially decided to withhold supply in order to get people so excited about the product that they would place advance orders and pre-orders and really boost that whole pre-sales market. I went on to eBay and even the secondary market was anemic. I ended up buying a Nook on eBay, but still have not even got it in hand because the person selling it themselves didn't receive their Nook in time uh, and received an email from Barnes & Noble to inform them that uh, shipment would be delayed. So again, was this in fact a genius distribution play to withhold initial supply to get people so excited or in fact was there something a little nefarious? I mean, it's interesting, it's fascinating. And, and I think you should think about this because you know, ultimately marketers are continuously thinking about uh, over and under supply, especially with tech items and electronics and consumer electronics. The one thing that Barnes & Noble did do, which is absolute genius, is they used their stores incredibly effectively. You cannot go into a Barnes & Noble store anywhere and not be overwhelmed by the pop-up retail presence associated and dedicated to the Nook with very, very limited demos, with all the accessories and with the ability to pre-order. So time will tell whether in fact Barnes & Noble knows something that we don't and whether they are in fact rewriting the rule book associated with how to successfully introduce a new product into the market or whether these guys are going to be left with egg on their face as opposed to eggnog on their face and too much supply as opposed to too little. At Jaffe Juice on Twitter, jaffe at crownville.com.